All right, welcome back. Now we're talking about innovations in online communications as part of the online meeting survival guide. Let's jump into it. So there's been so many innovations in video communications over the past few months. It's hard to keep up with it all, but I have to say that the online meeting survival guide came out at a time when so many new announcements were made. It's very timely. Here we are in April, May, June, July of 2020, and we're seeing so much new information come out for online video communications. So let's jump right in. So first of all, video communications and content delivery technologies are, are different, and we're going to talk about them slightly. Um, first of all, they've gone through an amazing period of innovation and change over the past decade. Video conferencing has moved to the cloud, allowing anyone almost anywhere to connect and communicate with ease, assuming they have an internet connectivity. And then live video streaming at the same time has made its way into social media, putting a go live button on the hands of billions. The democratization of this technology is incredible. From online communications, to collaboration, to online meetings, to streaming, email, instant message, so much. It's all available and much of it for free or very affordable. Understanding how to use the latest features in live streaming, video conferencing, social media, and collaboration software will help you design a more immersive experience for the people you communicate with. So in order to deploy these software solutions, you have to think about your event or your relationship to the people you are meeting with. How public or private is your event? Is it a private meeting or is it a public live stream? Do you want to have a public live stream with private breakout meetings for VIP attendees? There's so much that you can do. Social media websites like Facebook Live are ideal destinations for purely public events because they offer the largest amount of exposure and share ability. However, many meetings are held in private settings where only specific meeting attendees should have access. Private meetings leverage video conferences and webinars that require unique meeting invitations with optional passwords and registrations. Facebook is starting to flip this idea by creating pu more public video rooms that can be posted in a news feed, for example, and immediately invite all of your friends. Zoomtopia happened in 2019 and again will be coming in 2020. They, autom they, uh, they actually have really been leading the industry overall. A couple of things that they announced was the support for automatic video transcriptions, a feature that provides speech-to-text processing in the cloud, new translation where you can have live translators translate your conference in real time and deliver the translated audio to groups of participants around the world. And this feature also allows meeting participants to select the language of their choice, allowing people to communicate from all over the world. Innovations in video production industry have made their way into live streaming, audience engagement, and they're becoming more interactive. Innovation in the video production industry has also made live streaming and audience engagement easier to do. A company called vMix that we really like to use a lot has developed a tool called vMix Social, which integrates Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and IRC to manage the comments of folks who are, who are commenting on all of these platforms. And it's all moderated and displayed on a screen. The software provides a dashboard for curated social media comments, and it selects the messages that are automatically overlaid on top of the broadcast. Now, nonprofits can host fundraisers now using live streaming. And there's so many great innovations happening here with the ability to accept payments using Super Chat on YouTube. Facebook has the ability to accept donations as well. And we write about this in the book a little bit, uh, where you can even trigger things like confetti cannons and sirens to go off when large donations are sent through the live stream. On the content delivery network side, which is the side that distributes video to massive large audiences, there's new innovations that are starting to transform what's possible. Many CDNs are now allowing broadcasters to monetize their live streams. Facebook made a big announcement about this by overlaying instant ads as well. So ad revenue being shared with creators, even things like Twitch extensions, for example. If your favorite soccer player makes an amazing goal, broadcasters can overlay a link where you can buy the player's jersey directly to the top of the video player. 
Twitch extensions are a library of tools broadcasters can use to overlay interactive elements on top of the video player. Here's an ext extension example here on Twitch that you can enable on the back end that allows you to put and manage those extensions on top. It's really, really cool stuff. Here at the Stream Geeks, we uh, have we really try to keep up with all the latest innovations in live streaming and video conferencing because it's constantly changing. So you might want to consider joining the Stream Geeks Facebook user group and follow us on social media to stay up to date on all of this. So those are just some of the innovations happening. We cover more in the book, and I'd love to know your comments below about what you're seeing innovate in the online communication space.